Si tam guys, welcome you back to this uh to this set to this to this to this to this to this 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 video Nityanandam 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 Yes sorry a little blank so then the rhythm kicked in and then when the rhythm kicks in you can't do nothing but flow with the rhythm so uh, yes, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Um, this video I want to talk about another click I had in the satsang that Swamiji gave. Um, he was talking about courage. What is courage? Courage is not allowing the outer heat to trigger inner heat. So the outer world should not generate inner heat inside your inner space. So that's what I understood. And I thought it's a very powerful truth. So that shows that you have to be in the space of oneness. If you're not in the space of oneness, if you don't realize that everything outside of you is a reflection of you, then you will start to fight. You will enter in conflict, in duality with the outer world. And that will be the source of the inner heat. And I wanted to relate to that to one of the amazing stories in Hinduism in the life of Adi Shankara Acharya, who was also an incarnation of Lord Shiva and who revived the Hinduism that we know um, as of today. And it is one of the famous stories where he goes and do a Varkata Sadas. Varkata Sadas is basically, debate is not the right word, it is basically an exchange of cognition in order to enrich the person in front of you. So it's basically you sit with someone, you share your powerful cognitions and whomever brings the other person to the highest understanding, that person is declared winner of the Vargyada Sadas. And in that debate, Adi Shankaracharya goes and he stands for the, the Advaita, the philosophy of Shuddha Advaita, pure Advaita towards another person whom I forgot the name and he is standing for the philosophy of Vaita. And so they enter into the Varkata Sadas and the rule is they were both given a flower garland and the flowers were highly sensitive to heat, which means that the, the, when they are in heat, they wither away very quickly. So these flowers were put on the neck of each of the uh, Adi Shankaracharya and the other uh, contestant and they started to share their powerful cognitions to see who can bring the other person to the highest understanding, Adi, Adi Shankaracharya with Advaita or, um, or the other one with uh, the philosophy of Advaita, of duality. And I can't forget, I can't believe I forgot his name. It's not Vasudeva. Okay. I'll write it down in the, in the editing. <laughs> I'll put the name down. Um, so yes, so anyways, so they go into the Varkata Sadas and at some point um, the one who stands for Advaita, which means not Adi Shankaracharya, um, he starts to get agitated and he starts to get incomplete and he starts to generate inner heat and part of his mala withers away. So there's a second part to the story when his wife kicks in and then she debates with Adi Shankaracharya and he, then it takes time, but Adi Shankaracharya end of the day comes back and shows that uh, and moves her to a higher understanding as well. So he wins the debate. But what I wanted to highlight here is the, the inner heat, how the first part of the debate he won because the person in front of him couldn't handle his inner space. He got triggered. He got stuck in the space of duality, of conflict, and he generated inner heat, which made the flowers wither away. So that's amazing. Um, so end of the day, we have to constantly cognize that we are responsible for the reality in front of us. It is nothing but a reflection of us. We are in oneness with that. It is just an extension of us. So we should not become powerless, take responsibility and move forward. Don't enter in conflict, don't enter in duality and don't lose yourself to inner heat. Keep your inner space cool. So with this guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, again, inviting you, if you like these videos, please like any form of activism on the videos will help the videos to be seen by more people as YouTube will promote it uh, more because it is more active. So any form of like, comments, and of course, subscribing to the channel to help the channel grow. Um, all of that will be highly appreciated. So if you feel enriched, please do so. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Nityanandam. I welcome you all.
with my love and respect let you all open all your three eyes om nitya